Barokatia has reappeared on PC. He is on the Orcus Relay, which is Pluto, on Xbox One, it's the Leonov Relay, which is Europa, and weirdly on PlayStation 4, it's the L Ronda Relay on Mercury. So, yeah, Xbox's Leonov Relay, Europa, PlayStation 4, La Ronda, which is Mercury. It's the new one, so we'll be going there for the console one, but let's see what he has on PC first of all. I'm... Oh, that was an event reward. The Wraith Armor, which... Yep, I will butcher that to pieces. There is the electrical and status mods, all four of them. So, Jolt, Voltic Strike, High Voltage, Shell Shock. Quite useful, actually. Oh, the Volcor Wraith. This thing is actually really useful and doesn't... It's no Vectus Prime, which you can get through that whole prime for prime thing on Twitch at the minute, but it's close. The Prisma... Okay, what just happened? The Prisma Veritux that seems to have bugged out for some reason there, that was kind of weird. But I loved that melee weapon. I think I still use that as my Arcwing melee weapon. There is the right Prisma Edo shoulder plate, the left plate, the right and left leg plates, the chest plate, the Katia Sandana. Really glad they've actually made these so you can click on them and see what it looks like. The Katia Atmos Oculus. Ooh, that actually works with the mask. That I might actually put on. Not too sure on that one. The Prisma Sigil. The Katia Kubro Armor, which... Yeah. Uh, it's not that bad, just I don't particularly like that one. The Nexus Gene pattern for the Kavat, which includes the fur pattern and the colours. The Redeemer Elixir skin. This, on the other hand, remembering it is just a skin, when I bought this I thought it was an entire weapon at that price. It should be way cheaper, but actually does look really nice. The Do Dark Sword Day of the Dead skin with... Wow, that's quite a lot of visual effects on the Dark Sword these days. The... These were here last time. The Day of the Dead Kavat armor as well. This I do use pretty much constantly, if I'm honest. There is the Dragon Mod Pack, that's just five random mods, and the Sands of Anorus Blueprint, which is fixed, that will be there pretty much every time. Then quickly heading over to console, as you can see this is probably the first time Barrow has turned up on one of these new relays, so this really does show you where he will turn up when he eventually does this on Xbox, and when he eventually does it on PC, but he has brought with him the Mirage Immortal skin, which doesn't really look that bad if you use Mirage a lot worth picking up, Primed Fever Strike, there is the Primed Bane of Infested, the Bane of Corrupted, uh, sorry, Corpus, the <laughs> Bane of Grenier, then the Bane of Corrupted mods, all Prime, the Machete Wraith, which a lot of people still use this as Mastery Fodder. There is Prisma Shade that does come with his weapon, there is the Prisma Jet Sentinel Wing, the Prisma Joy Sentinel Tail, the Prisma Mechhead Sentinel Mask, the Prisma Yamako Sandana, the Pyra Sugatra that is a melee, melee dangly, the Lisette Prisma skin, still love the Prisma skins for landing crafts, the Corrupted Heavy Gunner Spectre, this is a one-use blueprint, if you want to build more than them, you have to buy more than just the one, the Nexus Gene Masking Kit, and weirdly here as well as PC, again, because you brought it last time, the Dark Sword Day of the Dead skin, the... Day of the Dead Kavat Armor and the Sands of Anora's Blueprint. As always, he will be around until Sunday morning. If he has anything that you want, you need to get in either today, being Friday, or Saturday. Don't leave it last minute. But if you can't get on and he has something that you want, there's no need to panic. Everything he brings will cycle back through again, so you will have a chance to pick this up in the future. And... It was really nice seeing him on the new relay and now we know where he is going to spawn when he eventually does this. I know it's a little bit weird he did this first on console considering PC had this event so long ago but hey, at least we now know where he's going to be and knowing is half the battle really because guessing where he's going to be if he came to PC first was going to be a pain but 
it kind of makes sense where he was. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.